Here in your nation's capital is Senator George Smathers reporting to the people of Florida. This takes the form of an informal discussion. Let's join the discussion. Well, Senator Smathers, first I'd like to ask you a little bit about this rep uh, situation in the Dominican Republic. Uh, I want to know whether you go along with the State Department in declining to recognize this new group who've taken over, even though they claim to be very strongly anti-communist. Yes. I, I agree with the State Department position up to this point. I don't think we should recognize this military junta or the civilian government that has now come into power under the military junta until such time as constitutional guarantees are returned to all civilians in the Dominican Republic. I think it would be a mistake for us in any way to start giving aid to these military governments because already in Central and South America we have had five examples of military taking over within the last year. I don't think it's uh, the Alliance for Progress will ever be permitted to work if we encourage military takeovers, and so I think we must stand firm in not giving any aid to the Dominican Republic, even though the people there are our great friends, until constitutional guarantees are restored to the individual citizen. There's another question that's uh, creating quite a bit of controversy, and it involves some of your own colleagues. That's the shipping of wheat to the communist countries. Uh, some of the producers and some of the members of the Senate are in favor of that, are you? I'm not in favor of it, uh, even though I recognize that many of my colleagues who come from the Midwest where they grow a great deal of the wheat, and of which we have a great surplus here in the United States, uh, they are. It's somewhat interesting to me that to uh, find that these men who most uh, ordinarily they claim loudly against the evil of the Soviet Union and entering into any sort of an accommodation with them that these are now the men who are most vociferous in their leadership of trying to work out an agreement whereby the United States sells to the Soviet Union a large bushels of large numbers of bushels of grain uh, in return for hard cash and gold and of course we need the, we need the gold we have a shortage of our own gold supply, and we could use the cash. And the unfortunate fact is that under our Public Law 380 program, we are shipping overseas to the West Germans this uh, wheat at a price that actually is less than the world price, and uh, they're reprocessing it there in West Germany and then selling it to the Soviet Union, and the West Germans are making a price on it. And in effect, it means that the taxpayer of America is losing. However, I put it very simply, I don't believe we should help our real enemy in this instance, because obviously this wheat will be reshipped to Cuba, it will be reshipped to Czechoslovakia, it might even be reshipped to Red China, and I think if there are our enemies, we talk about our, them being our enemies, we should treat them as enemies. Uh, on the, still on the international scene, Yuri Gagarin has made a recent statement that the Russians will be first on the moon. Now, how does that tie with the suggestion that President Kennedy made that we cooperate with the Russians? Well, the President of the United Nations recommended that we cooperate, as I had said previously on this program and others, that uh, we were, that statement of the President's was merely to find out, in point of fact, what are the Russians' intentions? Are they really greatly ahead of us in this field? Do they intend to put a man on the moon? Should we go to this large expenditure of money in order to stay up with them and probably beat them? And I think that his speech was mostly in the nature of a feeler. And now we have the answer. The Soviet Union says we are going to put our men on the moon and we're going to do it before the United States. I think now it means that the president's offer has been rejected and that the United States government and the taxpayers will have to go forward uh, in this project of putting the Apollo project and putting a man on the moon by 1967 or 70. Do you think that we're going to have to make a choice, Senator, of whether we will have a tax reduction bill or a civil rights bill? There seems to be some difference of opinion. We, we may, we're going to start the tax bill in the Senate uh, this week, that is the hearings before my finance committee. We're expecting those hearings to last, uh, we hope, not longer than three or four weeks. Uh, thereafter, there will be, of course, the debate on the floor. It's very important to the nation that we have a tax reduction bill this year. I'd, if we get involved in the civil rights legislation, it's conceivable that could be so bitter and so drawn out that that would make it impossible for us to have a tax reduction bill, which, of course, would be the nation's loss. Thank you very much, Senator George Smathers. I trust our listeners will be with us next week at the same time when, again, Senator Smathers will report to Florida.